last time we uh, completed question number two which is the data set totals and statistics and as you can see here because my data set was different it says note this is a sample table you must need to customize it to your assigned data set so I didn't have med paid indemnity paid expense paid I had a lot of other things so made sure make sure you pay attention to that so in this video what I'd like to do is I'd like to assess the quality of the data again it needs to be customized and so I will customize it but what I'm going to be doing is uh, identifying the outliers in the first part I, I looked at the zero dollar claims and how that affected the averages per um, what do you want to call it benefit variable but so we're gonna go in and take care of that so here's where we ended. Um, as you can see, again, you know my my headings are different than they were from the worksheet. I added this percent claim uh, percent claim payment by type of total. So just to, so this is something you could share. It could be a pie chart. You know where where's all the money going, and you could highlight that. Um, should I show you that? I'll show you that real quick. This is kind of also a uh, tutorial. So I highlighted the data here, and actually what I need to do is I need to bring these headers down. Just going to copy them and paste them because when it's right next to it, then this works better. So I'm going to do this, and I should actually write it out too. So you go to Insert, it's after the home, and you see then we've got all the tables here. I just want to do a simple pie chart. Uh, shoot a three dimensional and be real fancy and break them out. Let's see what happens. So there you go. It's not as easy. I'm going to kind of shrink this down a little. There. So that's one way to demonstrate where all the money's. Oh, I didn't want total paid. Shoot. I can go in there and uh, select data, edit the series. I really just want to. I didn't want to do that. Let's see what happens when I do that. I don't know. Will it work? Yeah, thanks. Whatever. I didn't want to do it that way. Try to delete it. Got to pay attention to what you're doing. I'm going to do it again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight these because it should add up to 100%. Insert, pi. So, you know, it's 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 interesting. Maybe this might be something that we want to present, but management might say, "Oh, what percent is everything?" Of course, my titles aren't very good. And you can right click, and I think you can um, add data labels. That's kind of nice. So play around with that, because again, you got to figure out how you're going to present it to management. And here is where I would probably write up a few lines about what we have here. Um, each thing, kind of each. Uh, statistic here or descriptive helps us so what I need to do is I need to click this apex here whenever you do that it, it, it highlights everything I copy it so we've got the you know, Saturday Night Fever flashing lights I open up a new tab and because it's on a1 I control V to paste it so I've got everything here including the work I just did um, it's gonna be over here I really don't need the pie chart anymore. It's just kind of getting in the way. That was just something I was playing with because it's it's fun. So I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to keep the table here because it's going to change as I remove outliers. Now there's two ways to sort. One is to highlight the entire field of data that you want to sort. So I started on the bottom right hand most cell and now I'm clicking and dragging I'm holding down the left um, uh, what do you call that clicker I don't know and so I've got everything highlighted now what I can do is I can go to data and then sort and it's gonna ask me which column I want to sort it by and I'd actually want to sort it by uh, total paid but I want it to be largest to smallest and there, it took care of everything. See, nothing down here changed because I didn't designate a particular range. If I had, it would have messed things up. So I've got everything organized now by um, total paid. I'm going to reverse that. Make sure it didn't do that. It's now back to the way it was. I did Control Z. That's kind of like the go back. So as you can see, it's different. There's another way you can do this. What you can do is um, highlight, I highlight the top thing, and then you go to Filter. 
and when you filter see it it puts in these little drop down things now everything is set up so that you can sort now by it so if I go to total paid and click on it and go largest to smallest yeah thank you oh no it uh, didn't like that I think it's because I had stuff down below didn't I okay you can only do that when you don't have a table down below yeah that messed things up I'm gonna get control Z to re to change it and now I'm going to see if everything's highlighted oh everything was okay so now what I'm gonna do is do what I did the first time and highlight just the data I'm going to shut off the filter and I'm going to sort by total paid if largest to smallest now I could also I could add things I could add levels so I have it sort by the total paid and then by job title or something like that but um, I don't want to do that so hit OK now look what I've got here so I've got everything organized so this is the most expensive claim this is the second most expensive claim and I've kinda of have an unscientific way to um, figure out what the outliers are so I'm just gonna highlight everything here as you can see see how they, it's they don't change as much as you get down below and we got a bunch of zeros but I'm gonna do it all just because that's me uh, so I highlighted the data I'm gonna go to insert because that's where the graphing thing is and I'm gonna do columns and just anything's fine so oh geez I really should I gotta blow this up a little bit hopefully you've been able to follow what I'm doing here um, we kind of try to look at this so um, I'm gonna try to make it kind of the whole screen if you will and what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for a natural break um, it's not real good with my small screen and because I'm trying to enlarge it um, it's better with a big screen because you kinda you can see a natural break now one thing I could do is remove some of the lower uh, ones um, what you do is you right click you go to select data and I'm gonna edit this and what I can do is it go I, instead of going to like 851 maybe I'll just go to like uh, half of it 400 400 let's see what happens see if it gets any better if that's just gonna go to row 400 now let's get down there and check it out there a little bit better a little bit better okay so you see here okay the most expensive claim is 156 it's way up here and then see it jumps down to you know 138 or something and then it jumps down to 100 and then it jumps down to here and then there's another jump there but as we go down you see how it kind of smooths out you know these, this is much more incremental and these you know so it gives you a feel for the overall how much things cost so when we say you know oh we've got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar claim well look at how many of them and we're missing the lower amounts are below twenty thousand a majority you know and that's that's why it's difficult to do statistics on this because you don't get like a nice normal curve so um, we could take out one two three you know then it drops to eighty and eighty is still considerably a lot I mean there's a kind of a jump there but then it smooths off really good but we don't want to take away too much either um, I think what I'm gonna do is and it doesn't matter a lot it's just this is this is these are the claims that are gonna influence when we start calculating percent uh, paid or the the, the proxy for um, severity you know the greater it is the more weight it's gonna put into it uh, so we don't want to take out too many yet you know taking out you know six eight ten in, in this size data bait, uh, this size data set it's not too tough so uh, I think what I'm gonna try to do is take out anything that's above 70 and see what that turns into so I'm gonna go up here I'm just scrolling up to the top and now I can get like a better look at them so I said 70 so well there's a 78 and then it goes down 18,000 do we have any jumps so look at so it goes down 20,000 to here and then it goes down 37,000, 19,000, 2,000, and then 18,000 again, then 2,000, then not even one, 
not even two, and we get a 5,000 jump there, an 8,000 jump there, and then it kind of smooths again. So what I think I'm going to do is it looks like it gets smooth right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these. I'm just going to highlight the entire row um, to there. One, two, three, four, five. Only five? Okay, whatever. And I'm going to do Control X. And it, okay, you get this, the Saturday Night Fever action going on. And now what I do is I scroll all the way to the bottom, past everything. And I'm going to go a couple extra lines down and just click over here on the number so it's the entire row and hit control V to paste it. So that pasted, that removed everything. Now look at the graph now. It, it removed it when I cop, when I, when I cut it. Oh, it's so hard to move around on this thing. Okay, so now we can look at this, you know, is that, is that good enough? Well, you know, we could take out more. Um, it's going to be bringing down our total. You know, I mean, really, we could bring it down to, you know, below 40, and then it gets pretty good. Should we see what happens when we do that? That's the thing with this. You kind of have to play around with it and just see what seems right. So I'm going to go down to 42. I'm going to cut these. I'm going to scroll down. And because they go below this, if I highlight the row and hit Control-V, paste it, it just puts it in there. So let's look at the graph now. Okay, well, we've got some jumps. You know, there's there, there are some, some peaks here. But you see, we're down to 35,000, and look how smooth it gets. I'm going to stop there, and now we can kind of look at the new totals. So here are the um, old totals. And uh, I'm just no, I'm sorry. These are the new totals. Let's look at the old ones and kind of compare it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this cell and I'm going to do a portal, <laughs> if you will. And you'll see exactly what I mean in a moment. So what I do is click on the cell and then I go equal. Now Excel is like, what are you going to do? I'm going to go back to the previous tab and I'm going to choose the upper right most, which is right here. I'm going to hit return. Now there wasn't anything there, but I can click and drag this now and drag it further and it brought everything over but not perfectly that's really odd why didn't it do it perfectly it should have done it perfectly oh okay so it was just okay i see it's um yeah, it, it just, it transferred over a different type of number, and you see when you do this, it gets better. I wonder if it would do that for everything. It's kind of confused. I'm going to put some spaces in. So I click on this row, I right-click, and I go Insert, and it gives me a row, and then I go Control-Y, which is Repeat, and there it goes down. So if I was to highlight all this, that's not... It's bothering me. Okay, but we what we can do is we can now compare. You see, we started out. Uh, I, I apologize for this. My OCD is kicking in, and I have to make it right. So this is currency, no decimal points. See how much better that looks. So here's the difference. So we took out how many claims? You gotta we gotta write that down. We took out. Uh, let's turn these into dollar values? No. Um, these are the total amounts. I think that was the IT amount. That's really weird. Anyway, I, I really should just get rid of that column. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 outliers. So 12 outliers were removed. Now what I can do is I can talk about what it is. So I can add this up equals sum and then I got to designate a a cell to cell, a range if you will. This one I clicked and dragged but I could type it in. So it's that much. How much is that of the total? I type equal, I type that amount, and I divide it by the original total. This is something that we talked about in class. I always go back to the original total. Oh, it's, it's a dollar value, so it doesn't know what it's doing. Format the cell into a percentage, and uh, I'm going to give it at least one decimal point. 40.3%. 40 12. 12 claims out of that five and two-thirds years 
accounted for 40% of all the money paid. That's a lot. Um, imagine if we were just to focus on these 12 because they were the 40%. It was just 12 things. It's not a clear picture of what's really going on at this company. Now, one thing we want to do is we want to start looking at some of these attributes here. So where did this stuff happen? Well, the machine shop or uh, work comp code 3632, at this point, I would say this is probably something we're going to have to look into. We're going to have to study this. Let's look at the causes. We have in the machine shop a lot of different things. Interesting. We have um, an inhalation. The most expensive, the most expensive claim was a fall. Not surprising. But the second most is an ingestion, a chemical reaction. 136,000. That's severe asthma due to an isocyanate exposure that was in the paint. Wow. That person must have, um, they must have had to gone through re, uh, vocational rehab or something, retrained and not been able to return. So um, I believe this is medical. Is this right? No, it's indemnity. It's the most indemnity. So that's where a lot of the money went. Medical is 20, low on this list. Um, and then some other stuff too. Interesting, interesting stuff here. Wow. Got to watch out for that isis for that those isocyanates cumulative injury so musculoskeletal so <laughs> two of the top three slip trips and falls and musculoskeletal just like you know the bureau of labor statistic tells us injury by miscellaneous what is it shoulder pain noticed over time it was losing motion in the shoulder it's a strain that would fall under um that would probably be a cumulative injury i would think strain miscellaneous Employee was using a torque wrench, tighten tubes and fittings, develop shoulder pain. Again, musculoskeletal. We've got a slip, trip, and fall. Looks like he was on a sidewalk. Toe caught on the gutter. <laughs> Hate when that happens. Strain, miscellaneous. Well, lifting material, elbow locked up. Yep, overexertion. We've got a slip, trip, and fall. They tripped over a pallet. Housekeeping. Um, strain, lifting. Taking was taking a part. I wonder if it's a part or a part out of a bin. Okay, 18 pounds. Another part was stuck. It fell and it jerked employee's left arm. Pulled something. Bicep or shoulder. And would it cost the company? It cost the company about $58,000. Ah, let's see what else we got. We've got strain. We got cumulative. We got twisting. You know, let's see what we got here. Uh, went to loosen a bolt. Uh, show strain, lifting, pulling, parts, bending. Kind of sounds like they do a lot of manual work in the machine shop that's resulting in overexertion or musculoskeletal in the machine. So that's, you know, we, we could add up. We could kind of reclassify some of these as overexertion or musculoskeletal uh, or skeletal, tomato, tomato. Um, we've got slip trips and falls as well. And then we've got this odd um, exposure to isocyanates. And, you know, there it's representing almost 40% of the total paid. Um, so what we have now is what we want to go on is it, I would write up what, what I just talked about there. I would do some comparisons here between the new and the old. So currently our, our data set only contains about 60% of the original, yet we've only removed 12. So we still have uh, 838. So we have frequency here now. We have frequency and the, the subtleties of the severity are better representation because it's not these drastic ones down here. And that's what's going to give us the ability to go to the next step and trying to sort this out by location, which is going to be our codes here. So I'm going to stop it here and we'll come back with the next one.